of the entire Civic Theater family, the staff, volunteers, patrons, and friends, I welcome you. I welcome you for what tonight's planning committee has entitled a celebration of one singular sensation. And, and it sounds as if you may already know who that singular sensation is. And of course, it is the one, the only, Robert A. Fowle. Just to refresh your memory, Bob Fowle has been Civic Theater's costumer ever since coming to us in 1979 with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in costume design from Central Michigan University. So by the numbers, that's 43 years, over 250 shows. How many costumes? It's got to be in the thousands, right? Including those seven little Von Trapp kids. Five times. And how many divas has Bob dressed, tolerated, placated? Nobody was counting, except Bob. <laughs> now, nominally, we are here tonight to celebrate Bob's retirement. But we are also celebrating our own good fortune, that this gem of a person, this jewel of a talent, who could have been successful anywhere in the theater world, chose to stay here and has made our community the beneficiary of his talent and has given so many of us here the pleasure and joy of his friendship. And, <laughs> now the planning committee has asked some people in our community who have known and worked with Bob to share a, a brief comment or two on uh, video. Now for reasons of time and the fact that those people couldn't limit themselves to the 30 seconds or so, <laughs> we're only going to show some of those tonight, but all of them will be online. All of them will be given to Bob. So Katie, can we have the video? I first met Bob when I was 15. Our high school theater program would come down to Civic and get costumed by Bob. I was drawn to his creativity as a costume designer. And plus he was super cool with a ponytail and a tattoo on his arm like a pirate. <laughs> Fast forward 10 years and I'm now a volunteer in the costume shop. With guidance and mentorship from Bob, we've worked together for 28 years as a volunteer, as his assistant, and as co-designer, and most importantly, as a friend. The best lesson I've learned from Bob is that you can dye almost anything. I once asked, can this be dyed? And he said, well, I don't know, let's see. Worst case scenarios, it's just wet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, all the flamingos are gone from the costume shop. You'll have to visit Bob at home. <laughs> Enjoy your retirement. It was always a thrill for me when they call my name to go see Bob. <laughs> uh, people used to kind of dread it. I always thought it was kind of cool because I'd always have in mind, like, oh, what's he going to put me in this time? And it was never disappointing. Uh, and the only thing that I ever had to do was wear a wig that I absolutely hated. Didn't think it worked, but it did. <laughs> and that show, there was a lot of wig changes. And I remember, you know, Bob always just had a smile. There was never really... Uh, nothing that upset him, v visually, I'm sure he was, but we never knew. 
Uh, he always did everything with a smile. There was one show that there were so many wig changes, and even then, his dry humor would take take over, and you get everything done. So get get all the wigs changed, and it was still just a smile on Bob's face. And I remember when I first came back to a show after losing weight, and he said something he probably didn't even know was uh, that effective, but he said, uh, "You transformed," <laughs> and that was that. So, and I. Uh, got another card and we start writing. Thanks, Bob. We are truly going to miss you, man. Take care of yourself. Peace. I remember meeting you years ago. I was working at a show out at the park, Irma La Douce, and uh, someone told me that there was a young man who had just graduated from Central, I think. I may have that wrong. Um, anyway, we talked. I threw out a lot of crazy ideas. You seemed to appreciate or pretended to, some of them. <laughs> and... We work together. Congratulations on your retirement and uh, best wishes for your uh, your future. And hey, Bob! I hear you're retiring. I am so super excited. So I'm making this video to thank you. All of those years, all of those hours we spent together, it was like 12 plus years that I was your assistant. I, I can't even add up the hours. And when I think back, I think of all of the, the fun we had and the challenges we had, the good times, the bad times, the challenging times, the producers, yikers, okay? <laughs> I just wanna thank you. It's so much bigger than the costumes. It really is the connections, the connections that we made, the connections with the volunteers, the connections with the actors that came through, the different shows that we did. It was just wonderful. And it goes beyond the building. It really does. The connections are lasting. And those are the precious memories that I have. So I'm so super excited, Bob. Congratulations. And we'll see you soon. Mwah. Hey Bob, it's Lynn. I'm just wishing you congratulations on your retirement. We have been so, so lucky to have you in this community. I hope you're not permanently retired. Anyway, um, I adore you so much and I feel so honored to not only have been able to be costumed by you in about 15 different shows from Circle to Actors to Civic, um, but also for my beautiful, stunning wedding dress that you created, and I would never have had anybody else do it but you. You are going to be so missed. I hope you know how much I adore you and how much I truly, truly value you, but I'm excited for you in this next phase of your life, and congratulations on your retirement. Bob Powell. What to say about you, Bob? Congratulations on your retirement. And thank you for everything you've done for the Civic Theater and the impact you've made on the community volunteers and those of us who pursued theater professionally because we had the opportunity to work with a professional and gifted designer. Um, as a stage manager, I know I was able to go into the professional world feeling much more confident uh, with the caliber of designers that I've worked with, including yourself and how to communicate and what expectations to have. And that's what that's what you did. That's what you did for me. And you made my experience backstage at Civic as a dresser and as a stage manager, um, all the more special, really honestly. And you will be very much missed. Thank you for everything you've done. I wish I was there to celebrate with you. Um, best of luck to you on this next chapter of life. Congratulations, Bob. Hey, Bob, congratulations on your retirement. Thank you so much for inviting me and letting me be a part of your shop and for all of the projects we've been able to work on in the last seven years. Uh, you have absolutely no idea how much it means to me, uh, the freedom, the trust that you've given me. Uh, I hope you enjoy your free time because you deserve it. And if anybody asks, I'm a much better cutter than I am a sewer. Bob Fowl, man about town. Bob, I've always appreciated being able to come upstairs to the shop, grab a piece of chocolate, just the right piece of fabric, or some great advice. And imagine, throughout all of that, all of those years, all of those shows, all of those different directors, 
You've managed to keep your sanity. Ish. Congratulations, Bob. I first met Bob 22 years ago when I was choreographing Return to the Forbidden Planet. I remember one time I was choreographing the dancers to run on stage and slide down into the floor, and I could hear Bob say, well, that's not going to happen. And by the way, it didn't. It wasn't until years later that I realized how passionate Bob was about his creations. One time when I was up in the costume shop, when I was doing Beauty and the Beast, I looked over and I saw that yellow dress on that mannequin, and I said, Bob, wow, that dress is beautiful. And Bob looked at me and said, well, it's not done yet. And I thought to myself, how could that dress be any more gorgeous? Well, I was wrong. I remember the first night Alyssa walked out on that stage, that dress was breathtaking. Thank you, Bob, for all the incredible costumes you've made through the years, making us all feel so special and so stunning. Happy retirement. Hi, Bob. Congratulations. I am coming to you from Buffalo, New York with Tina, the musical. Um, I just wanted to wish you a happy and well-deserved retirement. I would not be where I am today without you and without your help and your guidance. Everything you've taught me is stuff that I use on a daily basis backstage. Um, it's meant so much to me to get to learn and grow from you. Um, you have been such a staple in our community and at Grand Rapids Civic Theater and everyone is going to miss you so much. Um, I will miss all of your snarky comments every time I come to the costume shop. It's been some of the highlights of my day every time I think about it. Um, thank you so much for everything. Um, we will miss you so much. Hey Bob, sunny day today, so I'm doing it outdoors. I completely forgot to thank you for all you've done for the theater community these past, God, 30-some years. I know we go way back. I, I remember meeting you, actually, at theatrics with Terry Klein and then Civic and um, just, just so many endeavors we've done together and how truly loved and valued you are as a mentor, as a friend, as a costumer, as a designer, as a cutter. Um, I remember the days in your basement with Erlene, with Rose Bertain. Um, you're just a wonderful guy, and I wish you nothing but the best in the future, and don't be a stranger. Thanks, Bob. An ode to Bob. From drama to musicals and all in between, your masterful skills have touched every scene. Not only with brilliance and beauty at play, but integrity and perfection every step of the way. The gifts of your service are indeed very rare. And I, for one, thank you for all that you've shared. Thanks for the memories and the magic, Bob. Love you. Hi, Bob. From the first day I arrived in the South Pacific, through Duloc and beyond now to Cherry Tree Lane, I trusted you with my heart and soul and never regretted it. You always know how to fix all the problems, have all the best comments and wise words. Being one of your dressers has been my dream come true, and I've truly been the luckiest to have you in my life and as my fearless leader. Thank you. Bob, as we planned for your party, it um, allowed me to think about how very much you mean to me and my girls, and that's a lot. You're not only a genius costume designer, but you're also a really good man. Thank you much for everything, and hi, Joel. Thank you, too. Love you, Bob. Hi, Bob. We just wanted to say congratulations. It's been such a pleasure working with you and watching all your magical creations that you've created over the years. We're gonna miss you so much and we wish you all the best. Bye, Bob. Hey, Bob, I just wanted to say congratulations on a fantastic career and happy retirement. Uh, as you know, you and Rob are a huge part of the reason why I'm here in my studio in New York and still doing this stuff today. So. 
uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what you do in the future, and I hope you get some well-deserved rest. Um, happy opening to the holiday show. All right. Bye. Hey, Bob. It's Doug and Georgia. Hey, and we're so happy to be here to tell you how much we love you and how grateful you are, we are for everything that you've done for the Grand Rapids Civic Theater all these years, but especially for us personally. Take it away, Doug. Well... I would just like to say that I've uh, been in so many shows, but they, uh, the costumes have been amazing in all of them. But uh, some of my favorites were, oh, my knickers, my knicker suit that I wore in 1776. I love being uh, very piratey in Peter Pan and very presidential in, um, in Annie. But probably the uh, best costume ever was for a funny thing happened on the way to the forum when my wife uh, didn't even realize I was on stage. She kept waiting for me to show up even though I was there for quite a while. So she didn't even recognize me. So that was very good costuming. <laughs> but in addition to all the on-stage fabulous costumes, um, I have to thank you for all the times off stage you have shared with me amazing costumes uh, to go to events in Grand Rapids and different places where I needed to really like hit the ball out of the park and look fabulous. My most favorite was the amazing hat that you gave me to wear to the Kentucky Derby about it was five years ago this year. But anyway, bottom line is you've always been there for us and for so many people. Uh, you are a great friend, and um, we wish you all the best. We love you, and we will miss you. Love you, Robert. Hi, Bob. Happy retirement. I want to say thank you for all of the magic that you've brought to the Grand Rapids Theater community throughout your tenure as costume designer. Um, I want to say personally thank you for always making me feel so beautiful and ah, so special, all the way from when I was seven to my wedding. And... Gosh, I've been trying to think of my favorite costumes, and I'm tied between Flying Monkey with those like nuts wings that somebody else had to put into our backs, and the Follies costume with the bedazzled bras and the sides and the headdresses. Um, so insanely lucky. Thank you so much, and enjoy retirement. Relax, live it up. Love. Hey, Bob, congratulations on all your years as an amazing costume designer for Civic Theater. I just want to bring up this memory here. This is me wearing my finale dress for Sister Act, which you originally weren't going to make, but a bunch of the cast members wrote on a napkin why you should make the finale dress, and you did, and it was absolutely amazing, and I just want to thank you again personally because that meant so much to me. Congratulations. Hi, Bob. Uh, happy retirement to you. It is well deserved. And on a personal note, I just want to say thank you. Um, I still have the email saved when you reached out to me and asked me to be Brandon's assistant on Kinky Boots. And that experience was truly life changing. So thank you for that. And may your retirement be filled with sunny days and many, many tacky flamingo lawn ornaments. Hey, Bob. I've been your theater widow for 24 years, but I think it's time to go on an adventure. Let's hook up one of the vintage trailers and go. Thanks to all who uh, participated in putting together those uh, videos. Now, some of you may have noticed that uh, the signs in the lobby near the food uh, saying Bob Food. Uh, <laughs> they are meant to denote that there was only one criteria for the food that was served here tonight, and that was it had to be food that Bob Fowle would actually eat. <laughs> now, before any of you get too critical about Bob's taste in food, I suggest that you take a good look at Bob, because I think there's definitely a future in Bob food. <laughs> Which, um, as I think about it, reminds me 
that Bob Fowle is the only person I know who has an actual written record of my expanding waistline over the years. <laughs> Bob, we should talk. <laughs> I'd now like to introduce Mary Fryer. Mary has been sewing for Bob in the costume shop since 1997, when her young daughters, Julia and Edith, first wore Bob's fabulous costumes on stage, and then they too soon helped Bob in the costume shop, even as young girls. Mary is speaking tonight on behalf of all of the costume shop volunteers, past and present. Mary? Hi, Bob. <laughs> um, so I am here to brag about Bob on behalf of all of my fellow costume shop volunteers. We all recognize Bob as an absolute genius when seeing literally his Broadway-level creations on stage. But you should know what it takes to achieve those fabulous results. I think that, um, that most people would look at the costumes as a whole, but it literally takes months of research to design each costume, then to literally search worldwide for elements for each costume. Everything has to be perfect. And if you look at these costumes, think about little things like trim placement, choice of buttons, evenness of gathering stitches, all the sewing, or as Maureen has corrected me, stitching. Um, everything that goes into each costume is planned and is part of Bob's genius. It can take hours or the whole day to sew in a single sleeve in a period gown made of exquisite fabric that's nearly impossible to sew on. It's very challenging but perfection and attention to detail are very important to Bob with every costume from the lead's elegant gowns to the simple fashion for an ensemble member who appears in only one scene. That detail and excellence are very important to Bob even when it's crunch time, even when the glue gun has to come out as places, and my daughter said it's places is called, that sounds funny, but it's places is called, she said, um, on opening night. The, glue, the gluing of the zippers, etc., has to be perfect. Um, you will see these same costumes in other community theaters and schools across West Michigan as Bob freely lends costumes and advice to dozens, hundreds. One very important quality in Bob's skill set is his ability to welcome all volunteers into the costume shop and to find something for everyone to do. Of course, he depends upon experienced sewers, but regularly, someone without any sewing experience at all knocks at his door. For example, Bob can teach you how to label costumes, how to do laundry, how to paint shoes, how to bedazzle gowns. In fact, my daughter Edith was six years old when Bob put her to work sorting thread and sweeping the floors. Um, he makes each of us feel important, feel good about our contributions, and feel excited about being a part of something magical. And sewing with Bob in the costume shop is fun, and it's even addictive. Um, finally, we thank Bob for his limitless kindness. Honestly, take a breath. Um, in sickness and in health, Bob is always there for us. He truly cares about us, from checking on us during times of personal hardship to making, my daughter said take a breath, um, to making our own special events even more special. All those are facts. Of course, Grand Rapids Civic Theater will carry on, but there will never be another Bob Fowle, a talented, caring, passionate, kind, committed, brilliant man who has shared 42 years with us. Thank you, Bob, for enriching our lives and our community. Oh, hold on. Hold the applause. 
Um, would all of my fellow costume shop volunteers please stand up? And on cue, one, two, three. We love you, Bob. Discretion, the better part of valor. Yes. Uh, on, the, um, on the back of your program is a listing of the committee who's responsible for the planning uh, for this evening. And uh, let me read their names. Cheryl Dupree, Maureen Fahey Dreher, Mary Fryer, Sam Johnson, Kelly Lucas, Catherine Marlette Dreher, Gloria Stratton, Bruce Tinker, and Lou Vanderhave. The, uh, uh, this responsibility is really only fully appreciated when it doesn't happen. So I would like you to give these folks a round of applause. And, and more than that, find the opportunity to personally thank them for their work in putting this together. <clears throat> now I'd like to call on Ben Green, Civic Theater's Director of Marketing and Engagement, who will share with us some official proclamations. Ben? Thanks, John. Um, you know, I've only had the pleasure of knowing and working with Bob for three years now, um, so I'm saving all the fun stories for everybody else. But my own little anecdote with Bob, and, and when I first knew very quickly that um, he was much bigger than uh, just his role and his impact was much bigger, was when I got this job, I was calling my family and friends and saying, I'm so excited I got this job at Civic Theater, and um, it's just a dream job for me, and I'm so thrilled, and I, I kid you not, five of them, five, said, that's great, Ben. Is Bob Fowles still working there? <laughs> <laughs> And so before I even stepped foot in the building as a staff member, I knew that um, Bob's impact was, was so big. And um, it's been a real honor and pleasure to, to work with you, Bob. And um, the planning committee um, thought that it would be a, a good idea to encourage the um, city of Grand Rapids and the county of Kent to recognize Bob um, for his contributions to the theater and to the community. And so um, we're gonna be presenting Bob with a proclamation from the city and also from the county. And if you'll indulge me, I'd like to read um, the city's proclamation from our mayor. And it says, whereas Robert A. Fowle first joined Grand Rapids Civic Theater as its resident costume designer in 1979 and served in that role for 43 years until his retirement on December 31st, 2022. And Whereas, Robert Fowl work, has worked tirelessly to serve Grand Rapids Civic Theater, its mission, and its tens of thousands of patrons, volunteers, staff members, and benefactors over four decades of service. And, whereas Robert Fowl joined Civic Theater as it moved into its current home in the historic Meyer Majestic Theater in 1979, after earning a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from Central Michigan University. And, whereas, Robert Fowl has poured his immense artistic talent into thousands of costume pieces and hundreds of productions over his decades of service to civic theater, designing original costumes for every iteration of theatrical production imaginable, from the glittering sequence of classic Broadway spectacles to stunning and historically accurate period pieces to subtle and intimate small cast productions, and whereas Robert Fowle has, is known and adored by thousands of civic theater volunteers who brought his innovative visions to life in civic theater's iconic costume shop, and hundreds more volunteer actors, production crew members, and staff who have had the privilege of working with Bob and embraced his gregarious spirit. And whereas Bob, Robert Fowle's retirement will leave a considerable void in the civic theater family, but will afford Robert greater opportunities to further explore and spend time in Michigan's great outdoors and enjoy the company of his beloved family and friends, 
And whereas Robert Fowle has made innumerable contributions to the arts and culture fabric of the city of Grand Rapids and its surrounding communities by bringing the beauty, grandeur, and joy of the theater to countless residents and visitors, now, therefore, I, Rosalind Bliss, mayor of the city of Grand Rapids, do hereby recognize Robert A. Fowle for his contributions to Grand Rapids Civic Theater, the arts community, and to the city as a whole. Does he get free parking for that? <laughs> You'll have to talk to the mayor about the free parking. That's above my pay grade. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. I'd like to uh, now welcome to the th uh, Civic Theater stage, Bruce Tinker, the executive director, uh, and Allison Paris, the artistic director of the theater. And uh, Bob, I think it is now appropriate to welcome the one singular sensation, Robert A. Fowle, to the stage as well. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> thank you for everyone that shared these wonderful comments tonight. Uh, thank you to the planning committee for putting this all together. It's really been a pleasure to see so many people back in the theater. COVID has really done a number on all of us. <laughs> and it's just great to be able to have gatherings again and to really recognize this incredible talent. Uh, as you can see, there's a bit of a theme with uh, flamingos. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and actually, it's, it's so appropriate you know, when you think of a flamingo, it is tall, it is lithe, and has a certain elegance and circumspection. <laughs> and uh, that's Bob. <laughs> An incredible, incredible artist who set the standard of design in this theater. And he has maintained it and nurtured it with everyone he's worked with. He has taught us all so very much. Uh, just an incredible aesthetic and your encyclopedic knowledge of everything that's in that storage room, <laughs> the various storage room. You go upstairs and say, Bob, I need a belt that's, okay, it's right over here. And it, <laughs> unbelievable, everything. But really, it's your artistry, and we, we want to recognize that with three gifts tonight. The first one is whimsical. It's something for outside. Um, it follows the theme. Um, but if it's opened, it kind of expands, and I don't know if Go we'll on. be able to get it home. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll look at okay. that when we get home. Yeah. And then we have a little bit of glitz. This is a, a framed piece that I, I ask for craft paper, but it has been wrapped. You can open that or not. That's up to you. But that's a little bit of glam. Can I open it? <laughs> Ooh, lots of tape. Yeah. We just stay together. That's very nice. Thank you. And then the third gift is something that you can share with Joel, your theater widow. Um, <laughs> those of us that have theater widows know exactly what your responsibility is. Um, this is a, a cash gift that will give you the opportunity to do something very special with Joel. Uh, you can take a trip, which I understand you do have a camper, and you could go to warmer weather this winter already, right? So you could do that or you could do something else. So the theater is just so thankful for everything that you've done and what you've given to this community and all these wonderful people that are here tonight. I do want to get one more picture with all of you and with Bob in the foreground, if you could stand. 
here. 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 You want me here? Oh, you want me to turn it all right, everybody ready? I can, I can. One, two, three. Yay. Now a funny one. One, two, three. Thank you. Bob, the microphone is yours. Oh, thanks. thanks. Just so, you know, just what I, you know, I'm no good at this, but. <laughs> um, Grand Rapids has an amazing, well, thank you, amazing <laughs> theater community, which I've been very lucky to be a part of and been able to work with so many talented people on stage, backstage, also the great volunteers in the shops, the costume shop, everywhere. It's just been a great 40. Three years. Ah, look at it. Hesitate. So, so I want to thank you. It's all you for the last 43 years. And thank you, Joel. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Bob has already uh, uh, done this, but I want to acknowledge specifically Joel Manley, Bob's husband and helpmate, because no one does this alone. Joel. In 2018, at the Grand Awards ceremony, Bob was given the Lifetime Achievement Award. I suppose that raises a question as to why somebody is given a Lifetime Achievement Award while he's in the middle of his most productive years. But in any event, he received it. And presenting the award that night was Maureen Dreher, who has known Bob as long and as well as maybe uh, anyone in, in this room, Joel notwithstanding. <laughs> Maureen has given me permission tonight to read a few excerpts from the remarks she gave at that Grand Awards function in 2018. This is Maureen's words. Some people see a glass as half empty. Others see a glass as half full. Robert sees a glass as a late 18th century silk and brocade dress <laughs> with paneer and corseted waist and a wig. There's always a wig. <laughs> he sees things differently from most of us. He sees the beauty and the possibility in a flat folded yard of fabric. He innately knows what the finished project can be. His incredible imagination knows no boundaries, and if he sees it in his mind, he makes it happen. His creativity as a volunteer in the costume shop, when you see the process happen before your very eyes, it is an astounding thing. Speaking of volunteers, he knows the hearts and minds of volunteers. Chocolate. <laughs> There's always a bowl of chocolates in the costume shop. He is, in point of fact, the leader in how he treats his volunteers, starting with respect and appreciation for whatever they bring to the table and joy because the costume shop is a happy place and we do laugh a lot while working. There's a reason Robert has this big band of merry players. They all recognize his artistry, his creativity, and his passion. Passion. It is the thing that sets him apart. He never settles. He wants the work to be perfect, authentic, astounding. On the rare occasions, when there weren't enough hours in a day to create what he had imagined, I didn't notice, you didn't notice, only Robert felt the disappointment because he wanted it perfect. 
Lastly, as a friend, Robert is loyal and true and generous. And Maureen closed by saying, it is my great privilege and honor to present this award in recognition of your talent, creativity, and contribution to our theater community. Sometime later that evening, Maureen asked Bob why he had done all this, the long hours, the quest for perfection. And Bob's answer to her was, I did it for the love of it. And that takes us to our last video. Kiss today goodbye, the sweetness and the sorrow. Wish me luck, the same to you. But I won't forget what I did for love, what I did for Look, my eyes are dry. The gift was ours to borrow. It's as if we always knew. And I can't regret what I did for love, what I did for I do.
Bob, I, I think it is more than apparent that the people in that video, the people in this room, whether they had the honor of wearing one of your costumes or being dazzled by your costumes as they sat in these seats, they love you. They love you for what you have done. They love you for how you did it. And most importantly, they love you for who you are. We thank you for all that. And we wish you joy and happiness and fulfillment in all that you do in this next chapter of your life. Bravo, sir. Bravo. And uh, I, I want to thank all of you for coming. Uh, it is so heartening to see so many theater folks here and realize what a very special theater community we have. Thank you and good evening.